In this sponsored tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Visual Composer and its Z-Index capabilities to create a really neat overlapping effect that allows you to stack images on your website and have them build on top of each other. You've probably seen this effect before. Maybe you wondered how it works. I'm going to show you how it works in this tutorial. And if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below and make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass for WP Learning Lab, and we're getting started right now. This is the effect we're going to build today. This is a nice image of a GoPro camera. When we scroll, the image stays fixed, and we have an accessory to the camera, a container to put it into, that overlaps over top of the image. And it looks like, legitimately, we're putting this over top of the image, even though we're scrolling down the website. There's a bit of the image that sticks out up here, so it could be refined a little more. But overall, it's a pretty neat effect. And you scroll further down, and we have the rest of the website appearing. GoPro, your adventure begins here by now. Scroll back up, and we reveal the camera eventually. And this effect relies on the ability of whatever you're using, whether it's custom CSS or a page builder, relies on its ability to add a Z index. And it also relies on your ability to find or create images that make sense when they're overlapped. For example, the GoPro image makes sense when it's overlapped by the protective case that you can buy. So the way we do this inside of a page builder is we have three rows. We have the row for the main image, we have the row for the accessory overlay, and we have the row that contains our call to action at the bottom. This one's optional. And you can fit this in in any part of your website you want. So inside Visual Composer, if you go to any row options list, go to edit, scroll down to the very bottom, we have the ability to turn on or off stickiness. By default, it's off. And when we don't have it on, we see that the image just scrolls up and we don't have the effect. So we want it to be sticky. We want the image to stay on the page. We add a margin at the top so it's not right up to the top of the page. If this were zero, which it is by default, it sticks right to the top. It's not as visually appealing. So we add a bit of margin, and this is important because this is the top of the page. If you're building this into your site, this may not be the top of the page, so you may not need that margin. So the Z index for this is going to be zero because it's going to be the bottom one. And the image itself is just a regular image widget. I just added the image here through the media library. And like I said, just a regular image widget. I centered the image. No big deal. Nothing else changed. The next row, the accessory row, Everything the same, just a regular image widget. We just have our image here, again, from the media library. We added that in. The only difference is we go to the row options and click on edit and scroll down. Stickiness is activated with the same margin at the top, so the same distance from the top of the page. The Z index is now one. That's the big difference. And if we made this a Z index of, say, minus one, watch what happens. It goes underneath. So that's what I mean by stacked. You can think of Z index as a stack of papers on your desk. The paper at the bottom is a zero, and every paper above that is greater than zero. Or you can also have the paper at the bottom be a minus 10, and then everything above that being higher than minus 10 or greater than minus 10, but that's a little confusing sometimes. So I prefer to start at zero, and I just go up. So this is a Z index of one. And our next section, our next row here, exact same settings as before, only if we go to edit, our Z index is now a two, as we can see here. There's no margin at the top because I want it to go to the very top of the screen. And there we go. An important setting that I glossed over earlier, inside the rows, they all have to be full height for this example to work. And this full height option is also applied to these ones here. If we go to the row editor, we see full height is on. And it's on for both of those so that we have a full screen of just the image and we can scroll the additional content over top of it. It's a really neat effect. It's not hard to do. You don't see it very often, but it is very engaging for the end user and I find it to be a pretty cool effect. And again, it relies on your page builder's ability to use Z-Index or custom CSS and it relies on your ability to find or create images that make sense when they overlap. So if you like what you see and you want to give it a go, head over to visualcomposer.com and then just click on download. You can enter your email address. It's free to download. There is a pro option, as with a lot of page builders, but you can download the free version and give a test drive and see if it works for you. And keep in mind, like I said earlier, this is not the same as the old Visual Composer. It's not the same as WP Baker Page Builder. This is a brand new Visual Composer that's competing with Elementor, 
breezy site origin thrive themes divi big time page builders like that so make sure you check it out so that's how you can create scrolling and overlapping images i hope this video helps you if you haven't done so yet make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos and next up is clicking this video up here which shows you how to build an entire one page website with cool parallax effects using the new visual composer and down here is the video youtube thinks you should watch and until next time my name is bjorn allpass from wp learning lab keep crushing it and i will see you in the next video